Utiza Aleppo Berlin civilian. The Syrian regime, with the help of its allies' forces airstrikes in Iran's, Iraq's, and Hezbollah's bombardment from the ground, is ruthlessly continuing the bloodshed of civilians in Aleppo, exacerbating the living conditions for those 300,000 who chose to stay. I call on them to lift sieges, ensure that they do not target civilians and civilian infrastructure, and that they allow humanitarian organizations safe and unimpeded access to bring life-saving help to those displaced or under siege. It's estimated that 300,000 people are trapped in East Aleppo under the siege of the regime, while civilian casualties have escalated to over 3,000 with 739 deaths and around 2,500 wounded since November 15. Anything that further strengthens the hand of the Assad regime, we do not see as playing a helpful role in terms of not only ending the civil war in Syria, but bringing peace to Syria, Pentagon spokesman Peter Cook said. Since mid-November, more than 643 civilians have been killed and hundreds more injured in the regime's offensive, according to figures released by local civil defense officials. Syrian regime forces have recently stepped up attacks on opposition-held parts of eastern Aleppo in an effort to retake the city and advance on Idlib, one of the Syrian opposition's last stronghold s. The fierce bombardments have forced hospitals and other medical facilities in the war-battered city to cease Operation S, while most academic activities have come to a complete stop. According to Syria's regime-friendly al Watan newspaper, the next stage in the process of recapturing eastern Aleppo will be to divide the remaining area into security districts that will be easily controlled and to capture them successively. Secretary of State John Kerry will travel next week to Rome and Vatican City for bilateral talks on regional issues, including Syria. Thanks for viewing this tease. Sign up for the Tip Top Tech channel or search for a tease Second Mind on YouTube to find and then enjoy other teas.